Will computerized training figure in tomorrow's Kentucky Derby? Watch Nightline tonight. The top stories tonight from 10 News. The Chargers don't have a star quarterback tonight. And we'll show you how some San Diegans are winning hundreds of dollars. In a special medical report, the health problem that affects just about all men. And a TV favorite gets all roughed up. Mike Smith has the Padres action in all the sports, and Mike Ambrose has the weekend weather next on 10 News Nightcap. This roomy, inexpensive Subaru station wagon not only goes far on a gallon of gas, it also goes almost anywhere on a gallon of gas, thanks to front-wheel drive. But if you want more traction than our wagon with front-wheel drive, we suggest our wagon with on-demand four-wheel drive. See your San Diego County Subaru dealer now while the deals are hot. Numbers, numbers, numbers. It's enough to make you numb. But now McDonald's makes numbers fun. It's McDonald's Instant Game just for area code 619. Match your game card number and instantly win a PSA Landmark Hotel trip to Las Vegas. A Kodak disc camera. Free admission to SeaWorld. McDonald's gift certificates. A trip anywhere PSA flies. Even a Renault Alliance. Guaranteed instant winning game cards at every participating McDonald's every week. So come to McDonald's, San Diego. We've got your number. I smell Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, please. Send four down. Yeah, I'll try Dr. Pepper. You never tried Dr. Pepper? No. It's gonna be a home run. It's gonna be a grand slam. It's fantastic. It's terrific. What originality. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Taste made a pepper out of me. A light show goes to court Saturday. This is 10 News Nightcast with Paul Majors and Carol LeBeau, Mike Ambrose, weather, Mike Smith with tonight's sports, Sky 10, and the entire 10 News Nightcast team. Good evening, 11 o'clock. The San Diego Chargers don't have Dan Fouts, and Dan Fouts doesn't have a contract. In a surprise move today, Fouts refused to sign the contract he just recently negotiated with the Chargers. Mike Smith is here with more on this. Really not good news at all. I think today's announcement seemed to catch everyone by surprise, although Gene Klein sensed it was coming. Mr. Klein met with Fouts and his agent for about a half hour. Nothing happened. So as the rest of the team worked out, Dan and Howard Slusher, his agent, left the stadium parking lot. Both had no comment. Mr. Klein then met with the media to try and shed some light on things. Papers were, pre were prepared by Mr. Slusher, which did not reflect my understanding of the deal, but obviously reflected his understanding of the deal and Dan's understanding of the deal. And as I say, the difference was very significant. And uh, when we got together to discuss it, they had their opinion of what was said and I had my opinion of what was said and agreed upon and, and the opinions were widely divergent. So the negotiations are at a standstill and at this time no new talks are planned. Are we going to hear a little bit more? Yeah, about we'll have more and we'll have a few words from Howard Slusher. All right, thanks Mike. In news tonight, the day after a controversial coroner's report was released, charges of murder and racism have surfaced in the death of Barry Preston. He was arrested last weekend while under the influence of the drug PCP, and he died after being subdued by a police sleeper hold. Leonard Villarreal has the day's developments. Members of the black community reacted quickly and with fury to yesterday's coroner's report that indicated Barry Preston died as a direct result of the sleeper hold. At a news conference, 43 individuals representing themselves or local organizations banded together to speak out in what they called blatant racism. At worst, the Preston incident is a blatant example of murder. At best, a demonstration of racism and incompetence on the part of the officers involved. We call upon Police Chief Collender, City Manager Ray Blair, and the San Diego City Council for judicious and expedient action to prevent any more, quote, justifiable homicides of blacks by police officers.
Police Chief Bill Collender says it's unfortunate that tragic death has to be related to race. He says it's a matter of drug abuse. But members of the group say the use of PCP and the suspect's violent behavior is not a matter of consideration. He simply should have been handcuffed and taken to the police station. Many members of the black community, the use of PCP is not a question here. The issue is of racism and the use of the sleeper hold. For now, officially, the San Diego Police Department will continue to authorize the use of the sleeper hold, but the entire procedure is under investigation. Leonard Viriel, 10 News, downtown. Overseas tonight, what may be the first step toward restoring peace in Lebanon, Israel has agreed in principle to withdraw its army. The plan was a direct result of Secretary of State Schultz's shuttle diplomacy in the Mideast, and today, Schultz was jubilant. The Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Israel has decided to accept this agreement. Uh, we recognize there's a tremendous amount of work to be done, but this is a milestone. But there's a long way to go before the Israelis leave Lebanon. Israel has insisted it won't pull out unless the Syrians and the PLO also leave. Regardless of the success of the plan, President Reagan is taking credit for what he clearly is considering his first major foreign policy victory. At a meeting of the National Rifle Association in Phoenix, the president broke away from his prepared text to comment on the Lebanon plan. Today, we have crossed an important threshold on the path to peace. Earlier today, Mr. Reagan called Israeli Prime Minister Begin to congratulate him on the decision. Carol? There was a victory today for President Reagan's Central American policy and a defeat for those who want the United States to stay out of the troubled nations. Today, the Senate Intelligence Committee decided the U.S. can continue to send covert support to Nicaragua. Until at least September, the Senate will allow aid to be given to the Nicaraguan rebels. The House Committee on Intelligence wanted an immediate cutoff of all covert funds to Nicaragua. Some encouraging news on the economy.